diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Jimmy Williams with the NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Demarcus Gilmore, who's an offensive lineman of Towson. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? Um, I'm doing all right. Um, just uh, if you if you can, just go ahead and give me a, a brief uh, summary of your career so far. Well, I'm from Newberry, South Carolina. I graduated from Newberry Newberry High School, and um, like I I was originally signed out of high school in South Carolina State. And, uh, you know, things didn't go right there. So, you know, I took a year off, well, unexpected year off, and uh, went to um, Pasadena City College where I played. We had a couple, a few good seasons, you know. First year we was five and five, and the second year we was five and six. So, you know, but everything was all right. But then after that, I went to Towson University, recruited by Matt Applebaum. Shout out to Coach Applebaum. Cool. So, I mean, uh, you know, in my notes, um, I have that you're currently playing, I think, right tackle. Um, yes, sir. Talk to me maybe about your history of, uh, you know, just playing on, on the offensive line. Like, what positions have you played? Well, and, uh, I started off at uh, junior college. I started off playing left tackle when I first got there. And then a couple as weeks um went by, I played left guard, and then uh like closer to the uh first game, uh I started off at right guard, and then uh and they moved me to right tackle. Then that's where I I was better with like you know. Cool, and and, and again, then, like we said, you know, right now you're you're playing uh, right tackle there at Towson. Um, mm -hmm. It, so, I mean, it sounds as if you've played, like, really almost every position uh, on the offensive line except for center. Um, and then, you know, going back really, you know, even to your high school days, you you, you were playing tight end. Um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, you got a little bit of versatility there. So, I mean, who knows? Yeah. They could always throw you out there as, like, a, a, a you know, a tight end mm -hmm. on some goal line situations. I mean, you know, yeah. uh, get, mm -hmm. get an opportunity to score. Um, mm -hmm. Talk to me maybe about what you believe is the best part of your game. Well, the best part of my game right now, I think, is my run block. Like, it's just like we've been – like, high school was just uh, power power offense, just old school run. And then my junior college was the exact same way, just run, run, run. So, I just, I just think that's the best part of my game, my run block. Cool. So, um – uh, Demarcus, right now in my notes, I have you listed, and you know about six foot four, three hundred and thirty pounds, um, which is actually a significant uh, drop from where you were at one point in time. Um, so uh, that's great, man. Talk to me about that, like you cutting weight and stuff. Like, how did that work out? Okay, yeah. So when I got to uh, Towson, you know, I was I was a little bit more than uh, yeah, three sixty. Uh, but like when when I first got there, you know, I had to see. I went to a nutritionist, and then, um, and she kind of pointed me in the right direction. I I cut about forty pounds in like a month and a half, and so you know, then I was doing extra stuff. Like I was going in the weight room after everybody else, hitting the bike. You know, you know I just and then and then they had we had to make sure like we send a, send a nutritionist what we eating. So you know, I took that serious too because she wanted to see make keep track of everything we eat so cool so no cheat days so like no we're, we're days. not we're not sneaking in a snickers you know like <laughs> we gotta no, be no uh, we, we gotta be strict about those things but um yeah, yeah. I, I, again I, th I definitely think that it's awesome that you've lost um 30 40 pounds i mean uh getting mm -hmm. yourself down to 330 it definitely Definitely opens more doors um, for for guys when they're looking at you um, and evaluating you, you know, for the mm -hmm. pros. Um, so my next question is, you know, everyone's situation this off season is a little. I mean, obviously it's different. You know, we have quarantine and stuff, but um, I always ask guys, you know, what you've been working on in order to really, you know, better yourself. You know, see. Um 
since the pandemic, uh, I've been just my cardio. I've been in my cardio up, and um, you know we're uh, no huddle offense. So man, we have you have to be in shape. So you know I've been running more than anything. You know I've tried to stay away from the weight rooms because of the pandemic, but you know I just been building my cardio more and more. I run in the mornings, like I jog four or five miles every day, and then I go in the evenings and just. Uh, run even more, but outside, you know, flip a tire, a tire back down, flip a tire, you know. Cool. I think everybody needs a tire that they can flip. I mean, that'd be fun. Yeah. You know? But um, uh, mm -hmm. you were telling me at one point in time that, um, you know, you, you expect your, you to actually have a decent 40 even. Um, you know, you're saying yeah, there that you're, sure. um, you know, running and running. Uh, where are you at with that? with that 40 and maybe even some of those other like workouts, like where are you at with that? See, last time I ran a 40, it was a five flat, you know? That's pretty but, neat, uh, man. The, like, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, most offensive linemen like are in like the five and a half, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> situation. Yeah. So I mean, it's definitely yeah. a decent number. Uh, mm -hmm. Where are you at with like maybe some of the other things that, you know, people would see um, at, at at the combine, like the like the bench and stuff. I mean, is that something that you're focusing on right now? No, nah, that's not something I'm really focusing on right now. You know, uh, like I said, I just been like I stayed away from the gym. But uh, but bench, like the most I ever did was 25. You know, but uh, like I just been focusing on my cardio. Well, I mean, obviously you're a big guy. I mean, no, you know, yeah. everybody expects you really to uh, do what you've been doing, which is really just being an mm -hmm. excellent run blocker. Um, I don't think people really expect you to be quick. So I, I think yeah. that that's a, that's a kind of a nice thing you bring to the table. Um, uh, talk to me maybe about a, maybe a memorable play or moment throughout your career so far, whether it be high school, Juco, Towson. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to me maybe about a, a play or a moment that maybe defines you as a, a player that may, maybe a story you got to tell everybody yeah okay it was in junior college man we just you know we came out you know we thought we came out good we came out awful and man we were just getting killed man I'm talking like before halftime well at halftime they had like 60 65 or something like that and then we only had like 20 might maybe thirty and then man, like everybody gave up really and, like but um coach was trying to put the tools in. I told him like nah coach I'm staying in. And um I guess when people saw me still in, like, you know, they um kind of fought like they wanted to fight back with me, you know, we cut the lead to like ten or fourteen, but we you know still end up losing. But man, just to see everybody come back and they want to fight, come back and play, you know, it showed a lot. Cool. So, I mean, uh, again, that just kind of shows that, you know, again, despite where you guys were, I mean, you kind of had that never quit mentality, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, DeMarcus, uh, tell me maybe who you are off the field, like uh, maybe some of your interests, you know, anything that you want to mm -hmm. share with anybody, um, maybe something that not everybody knows. Yeah. What, what, well, whatever you got, it. man. If anybody, if you know, if anybody knows me, they know I love to laugh. So you know, uh, I love watching comedy movies. You know, I go fish every now and then. You know, and um, uh, video games. You know, I cut back on video games though. You know, I used to play twenty four seven video games, but I'm outside. Like, if anything, you'll catch me outside. Cool. So uh, I put you on the spot real quick. So I mean, like when you're watching a movie, like. Who makes you laugh the most? No, I I had like my favorite all time favorite movie is Baby Boy, but you know I, I can watch that movie all day. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, um, all right, uh, so I don't know. Uh, let's give a shout out to maybe some of the people um, that have really been a part of you uh, in your journey uh, of you know mm -hmm. being a football player. Um, Talk to me and maybe about some of your coaches that have, that have helped uh, really mold you into the player and man that you are today. Well, I want to give a shout out to the, the entire Newberry High School staff. You know, uh, it's something that really stuck with me that, uh, that I, I still learn today. I have in my head constantly when I play is uh, Coach Red. 
he kind of taught me to like do the little things right, you know, because people forget about the little things, man. And, um, junior college, it was kind of like, man, coach, my uh, head coach, you know, and the intern head coach, Coach Mar and Coach Maharo, them have been a big, um, big help in my life uh, along this journey. Um, yeah, man, they they help me all the time. They call me, still call me to this day, man. They ask me how I'm doing, how's your weight, you know. Uh, but when I got to Towson, you know, all but this everything changed. I think the entire Towson staff is different from like my high school and, and uh, junior college. You know, um, Coach Applebaum, he recruited me there. You know, I just knew when I first met him, man, he he was like, man, he was different. You know, and, uh, Coach Ambrose, you know, he he down to earth coach. You know, he gonna tell you what you really need to know and hear. You know, and he want the best out of you. He's going to make sure he get the best out of you. That's what he's been doing to me since I got to campus. Gotcha. So, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, being at Towson, really, um, really a, a, just a, a solid, uh, you know, great uh, school um, team, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being in the CAA, really, you know, probably some of the really premier talent there uh, in the FCS. Mm -hmm. um, I, Let's talk a little bit about some of your teammates. Like, who do we need to know that you play with? Like, uh, maybe talk to me about some of the guys that have really impressed you over the years. Well, I kind of, I kind of, you know, at first I had trouble when I, uh, I first got there. You know, I kind of leaned on the scenes like Aaron Gronkowski, Andrew, you know. Uh, they kind of taught me a lot when I first got there, you know. Um because my junior college is like a really run, run first base offense. So, you know, and I didn't really have my technique down, like kicks that, all that. I think they kind of helped me and leaned on me, you know. Man, I, I just – them guys right there, you know, my whole – really my whole offensive line, they're going to make sure they get the best out of you. We, we hold each other accountable for a lot. You know, our expectations are very high. And we want the best – They want we want the best out of you. Each and every one of each other, like every practice, every game. Cool. So, I mean, it, it's interesting. I, I, I think how like you went from like a, a really a run first uh, offense, really to something that's mm -hmm. a little bit more you know spread out, um, yeah. and you know yeah. just how they really distribute the ball, like in the passing game. Um, mm -hmm. So. Um, again, one of the great things that I feel like you really bring to the table just uh, is a little bit of that versatility. You know, again, we, we have um, said that, uh, you know, your run blocking is your best attribute. However, it, it's not the only thing that you got. So, I mean, you're, you've been out there, you know, really learning uh, you know, how to pass block, you know, and, and how to move around. And, and you have that agility. Uh, kind of that sneaky quickness of a big man that uh, not a lot of people see. So, um, hey, man, uh, as we um, begin to wrap up a little bit, I know it's corny, but I asked everybody this question. Give me your why. Why do you play football? Well, you know, I started playing when I was young. You know, as I got older, man, my why was like my family and just to finish. You know, I want to make them proud. But, uh, you know, it's really for me, you know, I just, you know, all of them, you know, understand everything, but, you know, I just, you know, I love, you know, I love to play football, you know. Man. Great. I mean, I think a lot of us love the game. We miss mm -hmm. watching it. We really want to watch it this fall. Um, yeah, yeah. Guys um, kind of canceled some things this fall, but, I mean, um, yeah. really, I, again, I feel like th there's a lot that's ahead uh, for you guys. Um, uh, really a great team there at Towson. Uh, real quick before uh, we, we move on uh, and finish up, uh, give me your final pitch to a professional team. You know, why should they draft you, sign you? What do you bring as a teammate? Well, I just want every team to know they just been a hard-working guy. They're dedicated to the game and, you know, and they got a guy with a strong and strong and powerful work ethic, you know, and, and I'm determined. So, ready. Yeah, I mean, definitely getting a guy who's, um, you know, ready to put in work. Obviously, you have already. I mean, you know, again, uh, mm -hmm. losing all that weight, uh, learning a new yeah. offense. Um, 
really um, sky's the limit. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. it sounds as if you're a very coachable guy as well. So, uh, yeah. Demarcus, I really appreciate our time and uh, Thank you. Thank wish, you, wish you best of luck uh, moving forward, bro. Thank you. Thank you.